AITA for wanting separation and co-parenting instead of working on my marriage. When my husband 29 male and I 27 female decided to have a kid I thought we had a happy marriage and a financially stable future. My pregnancy was high risk and with the health complications I was going to end up using up a good chunk of my medical leave before the kid was born. So we together decided that I'd quit my job and be a stay-at-home mom for a few years and then go back into the workforce. After our son was born, I had PPD and severe anxiety. I had complications in recovery and no help from family. I am low contact from my family and my mother-in-law had passed away and father-in-law had no interest in helping. My husband expected me to be a full housewife as soon as we got home with the baby and stopped helping with anything home or baby related because it was my job now. He was lucky to get involved with a mom's group that helped me a lot because otherwise I was very lonely and stressed. When our son was 10 months old, I saw some messages on my husband's phone indicating that he was having an affair. I don't know when it started but a lot of his working late was because of that. At that time my mental health was not good and I became scared that he'd divorce me and take my baby. My reaction wasn't even anger at him, it was as if my love for him had disappeared and was replaced by abject fear. I didn't confront him and he didn't realize that I knew. I ignored it and tried to deal with all my issues myself while living in a constant fear of getting kicked out without my son. I know that wasn't a reasonable assumption and I have rights, but I can't explain why my head was stuck in that mode back then. I moved into my son's room, separated myself from my husband but kept on being a good stay-at-home mom. The sad thing is that he didn't even realize that I wasn't living in our room anymore. He got home cooked meals, a clean house and got to play with our son whenever he was home and didn't care about me at all. When our son was two, I got a job and needed to put him in daycare. My husband was opposed to that because he liked how things were and wasn't willing to pay for it. I went ahead with getting employed and the majority of my paycheck goes to pay for the daycare. The rest is my car payment and a very little bit for savings. Over the last few weeks my husband has been home more and acting depressed and I found out that his affair partner has dumped him. Now he's acting like the past three years were normal and wants intimacy and regular relations with me. I told him that our relationship was over when he stepped out of his marriage and he can go start a different affair if the first one didn't pan out. He got angry about that and accused me of being a cold-hearted gold digger. He put me through agony and H and I am here because I love my son and want to be with him every day not 50% of custody so I am dealing. But he believes he's the wrong party here. I have become accustomed to the situation and I am okay with us living separately like roommates and raising our son. I don't care who he dates or loves or f, if things change down the line when my son is going to school and is less dependent on me or if I fall in love with someone then yeah I'd file for divorce. If he wants a divorce that's okay too. I have consulted with a divorce lawyer already and I know I'll get half of the equity in our house, half of his 401 Kelvin and either child support or shared expenses into our son's needs. Living in this house with our son is more convenient for me right now. He is arguing that because I didn't say anything when I found out about the affair, I have no right to bring it up now that it is over. My parents agree with him and say that since I chose to ignore the affair, it has no bearing on our relationship now. My husband wants to go into marriage counseling, but I don't see a point to that. The only two options acceptable to me are the status quo as is now or divorce. Does that make me a jerk? From the comments, please divorce him. Him and your parents are jerks. I can't believe your parent would want you to stay with someone who cheated. OP, I am low contact with my parents because they are like this. He reached out to them and I know they are not right but it's hard to ignore doubts. Would I be morally wrong if I stick around for another few years so I have 100% custody and also comfortable living while my baby is so little? He is saying that me not confronting him about this affair and wanting to be a co-parent not a wife makes me a gold digger. Update, we have been having non-stop arguments. I tried disengaging and grey rocking but that didn't help. He swings between love bombing and being around all the time, to yelling and raging at me. I agreed to couples counseling with the goal of having a better co-parenting arrangement. He told the counselor he still wants the marriage to work out. We had some proper organized discussions, so that was useful. We were both asked to lay out our resentments. Mine was the years-long affair, obviously. I don't think anything beyond that needs to be said. But of course, there's the neglect, the lack of help, the absence from home and that I have to pay for our son's daycare, without any contribution from him. His list of resentments were a doozy. He says that I ruined his experience of becoming a father because I was difficult and neurotic. My painful pregnancy and medical complications were unnecessary drama to him. When we agreed that I'd be a stay-at-home mom till our son started school, he was envisioning a picture-perfect home with a beautiful wife and child who cater to him. He's upset the reality was nothing like that and is convinced that I tricked him. He's a selfish idiot, but he was also encouraged and enabled by people around him who talked this up, including my parents. I've always known that my parents didn't love me much but I have come to realize that they resent me and look down on me. The first year of our son's life, he was a bit sickly preemie and had acid reflux, so was clingy to me. He resents me for that too. Now that son's a healthy toddler that can run around and throw ball, he's more interested in engaging with him. 
The whole thing was a pretty painful exercise for me. I restarted my own individual therapy. I had made myself numb to his actions. I grew up that way, thanks to my neglectful parents and was ignoring issues to focus on my son. But my husband did a good job of opening up all the scabs. I learned a lot more than I wanted to about his affair partner too. Now that I am physically recovered, lost a lot of weight, ironically from stress and look well put together, I am good enough to be his partner again. Anyway, I've filed for divorce. I think it'll take a year and then some for it to go through. I'll stay here and not move out till we sell the house and divide assets. From the comments, good job. And my nosy but is so curious what your couple's counselor said to all of his BS. OP, our counselor tries to put everything as a question instead of making statements. At one point he asked him why he thinks my mother, who only saw me twice throughout my pregnancy, has a better understanding of my medical needs than the obstetrician gynecologist who was treating me. He kept arguing that I was exaggerating the doctor's concerns, even though I had the printed notes of diagnosis and doctor's recommendations. My mother has a long history of avoiding doing anything for me by being dismissive, so things affecting me are never important enough or problematic enough to involve any work from her. My husband knows she's like this, but still ran with it as see even your mother thinks you were making things up. 